Hello guys, this is Pap from Pap back at it again and we have finally the first uh, video for, with the cards from the new box. Uh, of course, as some of you may already know, uh, if you were in the live streams uh, in the live stream of yesterday, we well, were talking about uh, Wind Witch. So I found uh, more spice into that and what I make I also made some adjustment and I'm gonna tell you a couple of things you need to know before going with this build of course guys don't take into account the the, the staples because you can play any staple you want that's always uh, what I give you right here is the spicy idea behind uh, I mean around wind Witch. And I hope you're gonna enjoy it but before jumping right to it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so I'm here with uh, the of course Rin and let's have a quick look at the skill winter bell excel so it's a once per duel tree effect to use um, or the the restrictions are pretty um, uh, are pretty restricting to be honest so we have only wind witch monsters to be normal or special summoned and wind tuners so that ends mm, that actually implies that the only non-tuners monsters that we can use for our synchro summons are either synchro monsters or they have to be wind witch and that's one of the bad thing about this because we only have two wind witch that are not um that are uh, non-tuners and they're both level three but we will wrap our hand uh, our head about um around this uh, in a minute then we have uh, the three effects that you can use once per duel. The first one is basically a searcher. The snowbell and the witch keems can be uh, shuffled back into your deck to grab any wind witch monster you want. So great start. That's why I highly suggest, I highly recommend to play triple snowbell, triple keems because these can search any missing piece of your combo. Then the second effect is well, if you control a Wind Witch Synchro Monster, it, ba it basically plays these, these from your deck though. So you need to have this in your deck. Um, and uh, this is super nice to Synchro Summon with because it makes the Synchro Monster you summon with this undestructible by card effects. And then last but not least, uh, the fourth, the, the third effect, we have to say, uh, shuffle one tuner from your graveyard into the deck, then add one witch, wind witch tuner from your deck to your hand. So another searcher, and that's super nice. So this is the deck list, and we have two spice to wrap our hand um, uh, around. And it is, of course, the first Stardust Warrior, and the second is Quinton Magician. So uh, what the first turn looks like as you will see in the replay is i mean of course you need a little bit of luck to draw the necro fusion but the other part is super consistent and you can end your turn with crystal wing that is of course effect negation and plus this guy is undestructible by card effects because he's special summoned with snowbell and then status warrior uh that can negate a summon by tributing yourself uh, so this guy and then in the end necrofusion that can summon during your opponent's turn a quintet magician basically a I don't know how to call it it's not dark hall it's not uh, heavy storm it's both because you're gonna destroy all the cards your opponent controls because yes you're gonna have five different spell casters in your graveyard including the level 7 wind wish so super nice to have this guy and it's lovely so very nice turn one to be honest kind of love it and when you do not have necrofusion you can decide to go either with these two guys or eventually with the, the crystal the classic opening so the classic turn one the classic turn one with this stack is crystal wing undestructible by card effects plus the level eight the diamond bell uh with the level five in your hand why why you want to have the level five in your hand when when you end the turn with the diamond bell on the field simple because this guy lets you pop a card on the field your opponent controls each time your opponent gets effect or battle damage and if you get this card in your hand at any point in the main phase you can discard it inflict 20 250 damage to your opponent thus triggering the effect of diamond bell and transform it into an interruption so that's the thing so um what we have we have to say one thing about this 
There is a downside to Stardust Warrior. The downside is that, unfortunately, if you use the effect to negate a summon that is super powerful, it won't come back. From the graveyard, it won't come back. Why? Because for the skill, you can't special summon monsters except Wind Witch and Wind Tuners. Except monsters, actually, except from the extra deck. But when Status Warrior gets in the grave, it's no longer in the extra deck, so you can't special summon it back. That's why, I mean, I kept this because I just love it. Uh, I love the summon negation, it's just so powerful sometimes, and it's literally the answer to some of uh, your opponent's plays. But eventually, you can play another one. Uh, what is it? Let me put level 10 in this. Uh, you can play the Shooting Star Dragon Tag Genius X. You can definitely play this. Uh, I mean, you could potentially play any level 10 uh, uh, Synchro, except this guy, unfortunately. So you can play the, 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 the this guy, usually. Or you can also have a, um, a, a Negation Destruction, eventually. But actually, I can start a struggle. No, you can't do it. So it's basically Shooting Star or the Ruddy Rose Dragon. But Ruddy Rose Dragon, I don't know how good it's going to be as. It is not a quick Excel Synchro. Like, it's not Excel Synchro during your opponent's turn, but it's just a Synchro Summon during your turn. So the Shooting Star Dragon could be something because it's a negation of um, of multiple monsters effect as you're gonna have plenty of tuners in your graveyard plus this guy eventually can negate an attack but as a Stardust Warrior he can't come back from the grave because of the um, restrictions of the skill and yep um, with that said we have double Wind Witch Ice Bell so this is actually kind of free to play friendly it's only two um, uh, bucks uh, two box openings you have to do. Two Ice Bell, actually, I have to say pretty fine. Two Glass Bell. Then uh, this, the Triple Freeze Bell, Triple Snow Bell, because I think it's super important. Triple Freeze Bell, because you're going to need two Freeze Bell in order to go for the Stardust Warrior combo. And then uh, one Blizzard Bell, totally fine. Triple Snow Bell and Triple Keems, just because, as I told you, you can return those back to your deck to search anything with the skill. And then Necrofusion for the Spice to summon uh, Quinted Magician, a couple of Lost Wind, just because I love the card. But of course, you can play anything um, in uh, to replace the Lost Wind. Wind. And the spice is not done yet because we also have a Speedroid Mudoshi Piper. Why do we play this? Because not for the Stardust uh, Warrior line, but for the classic line when you summon the Diamond Bell. Well, this could be super interesting as you summon this when you have three monsters on the field. So the Wind Witch level 7 in the, in the extra deck and two wind, more Wind Witch monsters. You normal summon this guy because usually you don't need your normal summoner for all of these combos. And you get to excavate from your deck the, the three cards actually up to the number of Wind Monsters you control. And you get to pick what you want. So that's super interesting. Maybe it can help you pick the Necrofusion or eventually a back row if you want to have a more heavy um, uh, heavy back row focused version of course for the extra deck guys we got the Quinted Magician just one even though you could play if you want to eventually maybe just getting rid of the clear wing rider even though these um, in the long run it could be in, in the late duels in the long duels could be useful as for his, if, uh, for his recycling effect um, Stardust Warrior for the Spice the two monsters to summon Stardust Warrior are Chanbara and Azusa and then double Winter Bell, one Crystal Wing one Diamond Bell guys that's everything for the explanation if you have any questions don't forget to drop them in the comment section down below and of course don't forget the replays uh, to see how the combo actually works uh, how the combos work and, uh, and how the deck performs in general let's jump Right into them. Here we go, my boys. First replay against Hero Alliance. Nice to see that. It's us to go. And uh, so let's start saying that this is a two card combo. You just need the level three that we're going to search in a minute. So there you go with the skill. Just uh, shuffling the level one and getting it started. That is Ice Bell. You just need Ice Bell and a uh, Freeze Bell in your hand. Because the other card that you need is going to be searchable, are going to be searchable with the skill and with the effect of the level 4 tuner that you're going to summon with the Ice Bell. So as you will see, we start with the Ice Bell, special summon it, its effect special summons, you want to always summon the level 4, why? Because the Glass Bell searches another Wind Witch monster, so there you go. Also for the effect, the chain is first Glass Bell, chain link link number 2, Ice Bell, so that you can kind of chain block the Glass Bell, 
with the effect of Ice Bell that just inflicts damage. So we got the damage and the search is gonna be, in this case, not the second Freeze Bell, but the Snowball, the Snowball, because we're not going into the classic combo of Stardust Warrior. Why we're not summoning Stardust Warrior? Because against heroes, you know, Stardust Warrior is not needed. They fusion summon and they're, those are not direct special summons. So we start, we, we keep on going with the Freeze Bell special summon because we control all Wind Witch Monster, then Synchro Summon into Wind Bell that can use its effect to inflict some damage, then the skill to play the level 1 from the deck, and now, and only now, you normal summon the Modoshi Piper to get the maximum advantage from its effect, you excavate 3, there you go, we got the Necrofusion there, so we can... Uh, uh, of course, choose it and add it to our hand, then Synchro Summon into level 7 again, Winter Bell. So, uh, we also have 1 plus 7, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Now, Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, because it was special summoned with the effect of Snowbell, as you can see right here, can be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. We're not done yet. Another Snowbell, because keep in mind, Snowbell's effect is not hard once per turn, it's not one, soft once per turn. You can do it as many times as you want. As long as you control two or more wind monsters, you can keep on summoning this, this thing. So, again, another boy, level 8, Diamond Bell, undestructible by card effect. Are we done? We're not done yet. First the damage, then the last part of the skill to return the tuner and get the blizzard belt, so during our opponent's turn we can discard this to inflict damage, trigger diamond bell and pop a card. But also we, we also have necrofusion, so look at this, how wonderful of a turn one this is. So we got uh, placement to begin with, negated by synchro dragon, it's got the chalice though, so no negation applied. It gets the polymerization, so I guess he already has liquid soldier in his hand, because he's going straight away into sunrise, wrong chain link order, as you can see right here on the left, because he activated, he, he made resolve first liquid soldier. Unluckily for us, he drew cosmic cyclone, so we were forced to use the necrofusion straight away but that's not a problem keep in mind guys five different spellcaster including this the synchro level seven into quinton magician that is gonna pop everything he's not done yet miracle fusion into tornado is that a problem no because we still have the blizzard bell the scar and flick damage triggering the, triggering the effect of diamond bell popping that and he scooped that's how you do it my boys there you go Second duel, my boys, against Chronomaly, and you here are gonna be, you're gonna see the importance of status warrior in some situations. So it has to go. Again, we have the full combo because we have one freeze bell plus the main starter that is a searcher because these two are basically searchers so there you go we can start with the skill getting the ice spell that is our starters we basically play eight starters two ice spells specifically and set in six uh, different cards that can search it with the skill so as well as a, as before guys ice spell to begin with summoning the glass spell glass spells effect ice spells effect to get the search plus the damage then a snow i added a snow bell guys because it's like we already have a couple of of um we already have a couple of freeze bell one is here and the second one is this one so we're chilling then freeze bell special summon first synchro summon into the level seven that is the winter bell inflicting some damage targeting a wind witch in the grave then the skill lets you play the level one from the deck at this point wind witch keeps to summon another freeze bell and uh, we increases the level of freeze bell to make it level four. You can do that. It's a it's a soft once per turn, so you can keep on doing with every freeze bell. First level five summon Chambara, then Snow Bell special summon, and again freeze bell to increase its level to four again, as you can see, and then synchro summon into the other level five. Azusa plus Chambara. Now we're not done yet. We can use the last part of the skill that we usually use to get the level five. That you can discard to pop a monster. To, to, that you can discard to inflict damage. But in this case, we do not have Diamond Bell, so it, there's no point in doing that. So what are we searching instead is another level one. So we do it again. Special summon the special summon it. One plus seven is Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, and five plus five is Stardust Warrior. There you go. We also have the Lost Wind. We're chilling. So he started with Crystal Bones that can special summon itself and special summon a monster. Crystal Wing negated. Then he went with the Chronomaly technology to banish a card from the grave, draw a card, then Nebra Disc, effect of Nebra Disc from the grave. And uh, he used the skill to change the level, but as soon as he XC summons, that is a direct special summon. It goes into Vimana. Now, interesting thing here. Now, if Viva if Vimana 
uses its effect, what happens is that it can save it with the effect of Akambaro figures. But if you negate the summon with Stardust Warrior, Akambaro figures cannot save Chronomaly Vimana because technically Vimana never touches the field. So, Tribute and Pop and he scooped. Keep in mind, the downside is that the next turn, guys, unfortunately, we do not have uh, Stardust Warrior back. Anyway, that's how you did, my boys. There you go. Third duel, my boys, going second here we're against Time Thief. So let's see what we have. Uh, we have not the best of the draws because we have the level 5 in end. That could be useful anyway. We got a couple, basically three searchers, right? But it's fine because you want to use a snowball, you want to use the, the Kings. Just one is going to be um, sent back to the grave. Because of course you want to have two Kims in your hand because one is going to be sent back to the deck to search the, the starters. So this is Time Thief. I have no idea how they work, um, kind of like, uh, you know, so he's got triple back rows and this guy that can steal cards from my deck and also, I guess, if he has a trap to place it, I mean, he can banish itself, I guess that is, but still, uh, it's um, the, also we got the, the freeze spell, so you can see also the power of this deck going second, so uh, we got ice belt to begin with, as you can see, uh, straight away, summoning, of course, the other one, that is the glass bell, glass bell to search, uh, ice belt to inflict damage, uh, and we got another freeze bell, then it's got the Fuma wave to pop one, perfect, freeze bell can special summon itself, uh, again, it's got Time Thief to uh, basically uh, get that, and then a Book of Eclipse to flip down everything. So that's why I told you this was nice to have somehow. <laughs> so everything flipped down, but guess what? Tribute Summon of the Blizzard Bell, and then Win Witch Keems to summon a non sooner monster. 5 plus, five plus 3 is Diamond Bell. But look at this, because we inflict damage uh, with the Diamond Bell, trigger the effect, pop the back row, we're not done yet. Now we got the 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 Blizzard Bell back to hand. Rookie Mudoshi Piper that was sent to grave because he was stolen by Time Thief Ruder, and then because he was banished, he was sent to grave. Now we change the level of the level eight, the levels of the level eight because you can banish Mudoshi Piper to decrease the level of a single of a monster of a wind monster by two, so it becomes six. We special summon the one, go into the level seven Winter Bell, and we use the effect, inflict more damage, targeting. The big boy now we attack and we're chilling because what happens now during our opponent's turn we can discard the blizzard bell inflict to 250 damage and that's it he, kn he knew he knew that's why he scooped before um entering the man phase that's how you doing my boys there you go we go, my boys. Let's see what we have now. We have a Poria and st uh, still going second now. So we, he's got live twin. Oh, Jesus, you you want to you definitely want to see this, right? So let's pick things up. So we know it's gonna draw a card probably, uh, probably set three. Let's see how many. Six K life points and yeah, of course he's got like uh, three back rows and eventually a destruction from grave. So we started with uh, the ice belt to hand. So for of course ice belt is always always your number one move because you can activate it, uh, her effect only if you control no monsters we summon the glass bell in attack position eventually he gets rid of everything so we got the damage we got the search he's got the summon to pop uh, let's see what he wanted to pop uh, also skill frost and lila as well to pop um so pop the tuner kims as you can see to summon another glass bell but it's got the ice dragon prison of course to banish both we're not done yet freeze bell special summon then the um uh, the modoshi piper to see if we get some back row but actually no we got another kims though for the next turn winter bell is here we're not done yet winter bell i didn't use the effect because i was afraid he was about to respond to that so i went straight away into crystal wing so in case he activates any effect we can negate then uh we got the snowball special summon plus uh the freeze bell getting one level higher to go into chambara that can attack twice then at this point we got the keep in mind if we because we summon chambara with the snowball and freeze bell the monster cannot be destroyed by battle and not and not even by kata effect that's 
super nice. So we use the skill in the end to get another level 1. It's got the droplet uh, to uh, decrease everything. That's fine. At this point, uh, because we can't do nothing, in the main phase, you get the, the boy back to draw a card. Uh, at this point, I'm just attacking and I'm chilling. I got the last win. I got my boy back. So he first started with secret password to get the um, continuous spell, the sunny snitch. Sunny snitch to get the lila treat. And then he sets a card, sending his turn because he knew what he has. He's got crackdown to steal my boy. But don't worry, we got the uh the modoshi piper just to get another modoshi piper unfortunately then changing the level of modoshi piper actually with modoshi piper to three um guess what now special summon of snowbell buddy i use the effect to draw a card we don't care snowbell is here now first uh, uh the uh, synchro summon level seven winter bell is here we can inflict some damage now um uh, Chambara to get the, the Mudoshi Piper, then we got the Diamond Bell straight away, and at this point we just inflict, need to inflict some damage, so we got Diamond Bell to inflict the damage, shrink its own effect, popping the Crackdown to get back our Crystal Wing, and now attacking any scoop. We still had the Lost Wind, uh, the only thing we didn't have is of course the card to um, uh, trigger the effect during your Eastern, but it's scooped, that's how you do it my boys, there you go. Here we go, interrupting 8 Windshrek Duman with... Uh, actually, it is not Baryon, but I guess it is Overlay Control. So it's us to go first. Uh, we have both the Ice Spell. And um, we are in a good spot, I guess, because we can get the... Um, with the Glass Spell, we can get another Freeze Bell. We have everything. Freeze Bell Special Summon. Then first level 7 Synchro Summon. The Winter Bell is coming, inflicting some damage by targeting the level 4 uh, in the Grave. Then... But it's got the effect failure. Perfect to waste that on the uh, on the boy, then on the girl. Then we got the the skill to play the level one freeze bell again uh, to uh, increase its level. So we first special summon the uh, the level one again. Chambara to begin with. Then normal summon of freeze bell uh, because we didn't normal summon yet. Then increase its level by one, five. Plus five is status, of course, status uh, warrior. Here he comes. We're not done yet. Use the skill to get again the level one. Special summon it again because we control two wind monsters. Seven plus one is crystal wing synchro dragon that can't be destroyed by card effects. This is the classic turn one with status warrior, as you can see. He's got overlay control. He started with painful decision to get the shot, the shoddy red. Now, what we need to stop is exactly this effect. Why? Because this is the effect that when resolved, when, when resolved actually gets a Regin XC summon on the field, so it's not a direct special summon, and it's a summon we can't negate with status warrior, so we have to stop it with the effect of crystal wing. But I guess he's got more overlay control, normal summon, and then the effect overlay control to get the level 4 XC summon. This is a, a direct special summon, so status border negates, and there you go. He sets a card now, it's our turn, that's why I told you it doesn't come back because of the skill. Now, but it just scooped again. That's all you did, my boys. There you go. Last but not least, we have uh, uh, Bane of Darkness, and uh, yeah, have actually pretty cool start because we have the two cards that we want to have in hand, plus the starter, the Ice Spell, so there you go, Ice Spell to uh, get the Glass Spell, Glass Spell to get, of course, the uh, the Freeze Bell, and uh, some damage, of course, then we got the, the Synchro Summon into Winter Bell, I think I kind of misplayed this first duel, um, Winter Bell to get some damage, Freeze Bell Special Summon, actually, no freeze bell special summon then the, uh, the level one played so we go straight away into crystal wing synchro dragon right then uh the wind which keens to get the level four increasing the freeze bell and this is the classic opening that you can see with the crystal wing and the diamond bell right uh, but also we get the effect uh, more damage and also we get in the end phase the search of the level five so this is the classic version that you will see everywhere so classic crystal wing can this, uh, that can be destroyed by card effects diamond bell with the level five in end so this becomes an interruption uh, he started with Summoner's Art to get the Dark Magician, of course. He's got the Bane of Darkness to get the Poly and the Diffusion Wave Motion. Um, he's also getting, I guess, the boy. No, he started with Magical Dimension, and that is totally fine. Because this guy can't be destroyed by card effects. He didn't know. The Eye of Tamayas to get Dark Cover straight away. That could be a problem, but actually no. Because now, if he tried to negate, 
the lost wind. Uh, he can negate that, but he can negate the negation of Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Negate the negate! And that's so you do it, my boys. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this crazy version of Wind Witch. Quinton Magician Status Warrior. The spice is served. Uh, of course, guys, don't forget to leave a like to support the channel, please, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, again. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.